What's up, guys? It's your boys, and welcome back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Slapped Ham. We're about to get into the scary videos before bed, which is probably not a very good idea, but we're going to be watching Callan give us this eerie video that's dividing viewers. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and let's get into the video. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribing by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that Zwoki myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the love and support. We just hit 30k subscribers. It's all because you guys keep doing what you guys are doing and will continue to keep growing. And with that being said, when we get to 50k, one of you lucky people are going to be getting a MetaQuest 3 virtual reality headset for free. So why not subscribe, share with your friends, so when we get to 100, we're going to go do two more of those virtual reality headsets. I guarantee you guys are going to have hours of enjoyment because anybody can use them. But that being said, also, speaking of support, check out the link in the description for Callan at Slapped Ham. Give him some love by doing the thing I always tell you guys to do. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Give him the love that he deserves for putting this together for us to enjoy, get scared, and obviously divide us viewers because some of us believe, some of us don't. And we're just here, some of us, like myself, are only here for the th thrill. So, let's take a look. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Hey, You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. Okay. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. I'm ready. Are you ready? An unsettling video from Argentina has been causing a stir on TikTok, leaving viewers both spooked and puzzled. The clip, uploaded by user Nico Asman, was reportedly shot by a security guard during a night shift at Lana Cemetery in Remedios de Escalada. So in the eerie fast. footage, the camera focuses on the cemetery's gates, where a bizarre scene unfolds. So, so he's like... If it goes through the fence, I'm going to lose it. A person is seen pushing their head through the iron bars, displaying behaviour that can only be described as like disturbing. Is he stuck? What the hell? As the situation escalates, two men appear, attempting to soothe and calm the agitated individual. So it's a real person. Despite their efforts, the person's screams pierce the night. <laughs> Local residents are divided uh, in their hell? interpretation of the events. Some are convinced that the individual was possessed by the devil, drawn inexplicably to the cemetery in the dead of night. Aye, aye. On the other hand, there are those who suggest a more earthly explanation. They speculate that the person might be struggling with a mental illness or the effects of drug use, which could account for their Hopefully erratic behaviour. The debate over the true nature of the events continues with no definitive conclusion. Whether an encounter with the paranormal or a distressing human episode, the footage from Lana Cemetery remains a topic of eerie fascination. <laughs> It's hopefully that whatever it is, they take care of it. <laughs> Hospital. No. This one's this always one's creepy. Viral this I saw this the other so day. TikTok. Oh. It was uploaded by user Scary Exposed. Take a look at what's been spooking viewers. I can't tell what it is, like how they did it. It's obviously not real, but like how do they do it? The uploader suggests the figure could be a skinwalker witch. I just don't know. Like, is it a marionette? Like the little puppets? While it's most likely CGI, it hasn't stopped viewers from getting creeped out. The clip racked up thousands of views, with many commenters wishing they didn't get served the video so late at night, which <laughs> TikTok seems to have a habit of doing. Which I'm pretty much doing before I go to bed.
Ooh. Ooh. An eerie photograph shared on the popular Facebook page Ghosts of London has caught the attention Looks of like paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike. It is a nun. The image, belonging to Patricia Cross, captures a seemingly <laughs> ordinary moment with her two daughters. However, a closer look reveals a chilling detail that sparked widespread intrigue. In the background of the photo, to the left of Patricia's daughters, there appears to be an unexpected figure. The entity, which wasn't noticed at the time of the photograph, bears a striking resemblance to a nun. That's no paralagolia, I can tell you that right now. The photograph was taken a few years ago in South Georgia, USA, in a house where Patricia's daughter lived at the time. According to Patricia, there was no one present during the photo session who matched the description of the figure in the background. So who is it? As the photo circulates on social media, it has sparked a range of reactions. Some viewers are convinced that the image captures a genuine paranormal phenomenon, possibly the spirit of a nun with some connection to the location or the family. Others approach the photo with skepticism, suggesting the figure could be a trick of the light, an optical illusion, or even a case of pareidolia, where the human mind perceives a familiar pattern where none actually exists. So as always, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgement. I can't tell what it would be if it's not pareidolia, or if it is pareidolia. A spine-tingling video posted by TikTok user DJ Hillia has been causing quite a stir among social media users. The footage, which was meant to be a simple recording of their child in their room, captured something far more unsettling. Take a look. Oh! It's a big black mass outside. In the video, a shadowy, indistinct figure suddenly appears at the window. What the hell? John! The homeowner swiftly calls out and rushes outside in an attempt to confront or at least identify the unexpected visitor. John! However, upon reaching the spot, they find nothing. There's no trace of anyone or anything that could have been peering in through the window. Then what is it? What adds an extra layer of mystery to this encounter is the positioning of the window itself. It's situated quite Pretty high on the wall, leading viewers to speculate about the height of the figure. Based on the window's placement, the figure would need to be over eight feet tall to peer into the room as seen in the footage. Skinwalker? During the daylight? This detail has fueled a wave of speculation and theories, with some suggesting the possibility of a supernatural entity. The homeowner's reaction, a mix of fear and bewilderment, resonates with many who have viewed the clip. The absence of a tangible explanation only adds to the eerie nature of this strange sighting. John! I can't hear what she says. Like, Doug? Or Judge? I don't know. In a remarkable event, Mexico's Congress recently held its second session focusing on unidentified flying objects uh -oh. and the enigmatic Peruvian mummies with three fingers. This session, a follow-up to the initial meeting in September, witnessed a series of declarations from researchers and experts asserting the authenticity of the mummies while steering clear of confirming their extraterrestrial origin. The initial videos that will go as I say To me, I honestly think these look like something that somebody created out of paper mache. <laughs> the main proponent of this session was Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast Jamie Morsan who has been vocal about his belief that these mummies found near Peru's ancient Nazca lines are not related to any known life forms on Earth. I want to highlight the studies of these tridactyl beings in, found in Peru, as well as the exposition of two entirely new species. Unlike the first session where the specimens were displayed, this time the focus was on substantiating that these bodies are real, once living organisms. Anthropologist Roger Zuniga from San Luis Gonzaga National University in Ica, Peru, played a key role in this session. 
He, along with other researchers from the university, have been studying five similar specimens over the past four years. Their conclusion is unambiguous. The mummies are real. Zuniga, while presenting a letter signed by 11 university researchers, clarified that their findings do not imply an extraterrestrial origin for these bodies. So like these shrunken sessions head have not kind been of things? without controversy. Many experts have dismissed Morsan's claims as a publicity stunt, citing previous studies on similar remains that concluded they were altered using a combination of animal and human bones. However, Zaniga differentiates the specimens he studied from these potentially fake examples, maintaining the authenticity of his findings. And we have uh, a bunch of iconographical evidence, not even in Peru, not only in Peru but in the rest of America, that represent these beings, these tridactyle things, with the characteristics that have the things that are, that are in the university. In a notable development, Congressman Sergio Gutierrez from President Andre Manuel López Obrador's ruling Marina Party advocated for reform in Mexico's laws to ensure public access to all UFO-related information. The session also ventured into more speculative territory, with Argentine surgeon Celestino Adolfo Piotto suggesting that these so that beings might be an evolved form of modern humans, calling them our descendants. Adding a touch of entertainment to the serious discussion, Mexican rapper Claudio Yato shared his personal UFO sightings, concluding with a rhyme that garnered applause from the audience. And truly, we are at an oasis in the universe, and I do think that these skies are just, are just waiting for us to destroy ourselves to be able to take this place. This session in the Mexican Congress He's highlights much not the wrong. interest in debate around UFOs and related phenomena, straddling the line between science, speculation and pop culture. While the true nature of these Peruvian mummies remains a mystery, the discussion they've sparked continues to captivate public attention. The diminution of my speciality, or as a forensic. A chilling clip initially oh! on TikTok by user Scary Exposed has been unsettling viewers worldwide. Captured on October 2023, the home security footage appears to show a woman in a kitchen with unnaturally long Very arms long and a hauntingly arms. gaunt grey face. Oh, go! Hello! No, thank you. You're fake, but you're super scary. The story wrong with your face. accompanying the video suggested that a young boy, feeling uneasy about his mother's odd behaviour, checked their home security CCTV system, only to discover his mother transforming into this oh, eerie figure. Oh, gross. Oh, thanks. The video rapidly gained traction, amassing a large number of views and sparking wild speculation among viewers. Many theorised that the mother had been replaced by a skinwalker. A creature from folklore known for its ability to mimic human appearances, suggesting a sinister infiltration of the family home. As the clip went viral, its mysterious and disturbing nature caught the attention of many, leading to soaring views and rampant online discussion. However, the true origin of the footage was soon uncovered, revealing a twist in the tale. What? It turns out the unnerving footage was not a real-life occurrence, but a segment from a lesser-known Windows game titled Alternate Watch. Oh. Released in May 2022 in a somewhat unfinished state, the game flew under the radar. Still creepy. The game has since garnered a dedicated following, with many gamers streaming their playthroughs on Twitch. I was gonna play this, but I didn't. This incident highlights did. the thin line between reality and fiction in the digital age, where convincing game graphics can blur the boundaries and capture the imagination of a global audience. I am good. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn Tickling. on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. A mysterious photograph sent in by one of our viewers, Neil, has sparked intrigue and speculation. Taken during a September trip to the Lake District's Coniston Copper Mines in England, the image captures a small waterfall. 
But more intriguingly, a ghostly figure resembling a woman's face peeking from behind a bush just to the left of a rocky outcrop. Mm. Neil recalls that during their visit, he didn't notice anything unusual, focusing mainly on the waterfall. However, his partner mentioned an eerie sensation of being watched. The location of this apparition is particularly curious, situated in a practically inaccessible area near a cliff hedge leading to a small cave. Could it be pareidolia? Their investigation into the area's history revealed a chilling connection. The site is near where Carroll Park, known as the Lady in the Lake, was found in 1997, over two decades after her disappearance in 1976. Uh. In a haunting tale that gripped the UK, the mysterious disappearance of Carol Ann Park in 1976 evolved into the notorious Lady in the Lake case. Carol vanished on July 17, 1976, leaving her family in a state of despair. It wasn't until 1997 that the mystery deepened when divers in Coniston Water discovered her remains, reigniting what? the case and casting suspicion on her husband, Gordon Park, a retired teacher. He probably Gordon did her Park in. was arrested and in 2004 found guilty of murdering his first wife. Dang. The trial revealed a grim narrative. Carol was subjected to blunt force trauma, then bound, weighed down and cast into the lake. Wow. Her body lay hidden on an underwater ledge, almost <laughs> eluding discovery entirely. In a tragic turn, Gordon Park was found dead in his prison cell in 2010. The Lady in the Lake case remains a dark chapter in British criminal history. A story of love, betrayal and enduring mystery. Somebody got the him. The discovery of Carol's body brought tragic closure to her disappearance, unveiling a sinister secret that had been submerged for decades. This discovery raises could the that question, be her? could Neil's photograph be capturing the lingering spirit of Carol Park? The strange white anomaly in the photo, positioned in an unreachable area, adds to the mystery of this historic and tragic case. While some family members still seek answers and hope for new evidence, others remember the dark and controlling nature of Gordon Park. The case, often likened to a Raymond Chandler novel due to its dramatic and mysterious nature, continues to captivate and haunt those who encounter it. As the Criminal Case Review Commission re-examines the case, the photograph adds another layer of intrigue to the already complex and heart-wrenching story of I the I would never see that, to be honest. Whether this image is a spectral visitation or something more explainable remains a subject of speculation and mystery. <laughs> now, in case you haven't heard the awesome news, we've launched a brand new second channel. If you want to see the latest episode, check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist there you can binge on. Now, leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love hearing your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one of Slapped Ham. I know it was quick. I know it was simple. But there's things that could be possibly real that we just don't know. But we're here for the terrors. So make sure you guys comment down below. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time.